Pen. <laughs> yes. Good morning, day two of GitCon. My name is Vladimir, and today I'm joined by the two awesome guys, Colin from CS Guitars. Guitars, yes, thank you. And Tom Quayle. Hello. Guys, thanks for doing this. Uh, today we are going to talk about YouTube, a big surprise. And I just want to ask these guys, how did you get started? Why did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let's start with that. Okay. You go first. Definitely started to get all those sweet ass bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Did it work, dude? Did it work? Absolute failure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I started because, um, largely because I was looking, wanted to see videos on YouTube and then I couldn't find them. Mm. So I was like, I want to know this bit of information about, say, this pedal or yeah. about this, uh, you know, part of a guitar and nobody was making those videos mm. and it frustrated me that much mm. I was like now nah, I'm gonna do it myself makes <laughs> so sense that's why I started doing it out of, out of just anger of going <laughs> you've not done that so I'm gonna do it okay so out of anger how about you yeah yeah real serious <coughs> frustration and anger as well yeah. no, of course. <laughs> um, I started really early in YouTube so like 2007 yeah. and I was uploading videos basically because I was practicing a lot and I would record a video on my MacBook and watch it back Mm. And then I kind of figured, it, okay, I might as well just upload this to YouTube. And then really quickly realized people were watching videos. Mm. Mm. Um, and I was getting, back in the day, I remember when I had 14 subscribers and I screenshotted it and posted it on Facebook. <laughs> oh, nice. 14 <laughs> subscribers. This is ridiculous. Success. Um, yes, you made it. Yeah. That, I mean, that was the only reason, just like a practice. It wasn't a practice diary. I wasn't filming content that was like pre-prescribed. Yeah. Today I'm going to practice this and then I would do it. I would literally mm. just hit the webcam and then play. Terrible quality. We were comparing. Yeah, we are. Awful yeah. quality videos. Yeah, we actually checked our first YouTube videos yesterday, and they were kind of I similar, that, yeah. Yeah. like <laughs> webcam and just yeah, random like noodling. Yeah, p webcam. Yeah, like, like random noodling of something, and yeah. yeah, good old days. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and that was it. Just you know, then started making <clears> content. Yeah, proper content. So, at what point do you start to think it's becoming kind of more serious? that you could make something out of it in, in, and not only just being angry about <laughs> stuff you're not seeing on YouTube. Uh, yeah, th th that realization definitely came when, I think as you said, you know, you realize people are actually watching the videos, people, mm. people are seeing them. Because I was doing them sort of for, you, you expect a f maybe a few hundred people will see it, <laughs> like maximum. Yeah. And then when these people start watching, they go, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I've got to up what I'm doing here. I've got to start doing that. And I was realized I've got to get a name for myself because I didn't have a, a channel name at that point and really unimaginatively called myself CS Guitars. <laughs> uh, and if I could go back, I'd definitely change oh, that man, one. Tell me about it. Yeah. You don't think about it, do you, at all? No, it's just like, I, just, yeah. I just need something there. I'll change it later. My but channel then... name was originally TQ105. <laughs> <laughs> nice. How imaginative. That's nice. I think some people still think of it that way, actually. They still call it that. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it's a bit crazy. Yeah. Um, I think it's probably was the same for you as well. Well, for me, the YouTube thing has always been a funnel into my playing career in a way mm. because I, I don't because I don't produce that much content these days because I play so much. But for me, it started to kind of uh, become quite serious when I remember the first time I realised that someone quite important was watching my videos when I got a phone call from a guy oh. um, saying <clears throat> we want you to enter Guitar Idol. Oh. And I was like, oh, oh okay. Um, we've seen this video online and we love you playing we'd like you to enter the competition and I did and that video got tons and tons of views and then there's another video um, very similar kind of video to the one I showed you the really great mm. one and I, I came second after Andy James and Greg Hale's contest online so this, these were the days where like, I, was, I was a jazz musician and I it's too highbrow to play fusion, but really liked it. So <laughs> then I started realizing that I was getting recognition for it from various people, so from, from a couple of my heroes. And um, yeah, that, that, that led to a playing career that was actually way bigger than I could have ever got without YouTube. So that was my experience with YouTube. So I'm a little bit different to, to maybe you guys, because I don't run a channel that's necessarily producing lots and lots of content. I use it as a vehicle to promote my playing. Mm. Um, and it's been amazing for that, really, really amazing. Great. Um, uh, do you consider yourself like a professional YouTuber? 
I, I guess this is a question for you more than him. Mm. I, uh, I'm a very unprofessional YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's that. No, um, there's a lot of things on YouTube that I should be, you know, if you're a professional YouTuber, you should be doing like, you know, scheduled content, make sure it's going up yeah. the you know, same time every week you, yeah. and you're doing that. And I don't have, I'm not doing that. Mm. I make a video when it feels right to do so. And I'll, I'll try and do sort of one a week, but it doesn't <clears> often, you know, plan out that way. I guess with your content, it's got to be very well researched. That you've, yeah. got to, you've got to really be on the ball with that stuff. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. sometimes the scripting and, the, and yeah. all the graphics or stuff takes longer than expected. So yeah, yeah it doesn't there's a lot sit of, well with a kind of particularly, uh, you know, um, kind of specified release schedule, does it? Yeah, no, it's, yeah. It's, it's not necessarily easy. You can call yourself professional. Your, your YouTube videos don't allow you to have a <laughs> yeah, okay. that's true. They look good and they sound good. And well, yeah, if, if that's, that's if that's what qualifies as professional, then um, I'm probably still not it. But <laughs> I guess the question, like I'm asking Vlad's questions for him, but Go I'm intrigued by this as well. So, uh, I guess by professional, if we use the kind of uh, the kind of uh, benchmark of, do you only do that? So the YouTube thing is what sustains you, and you basically focus most of your time into that. Is that what you do, or is that the goal? That's the goal. Sadly, not the sadly not the case at the minute. I right. do have a full time job, which is something I don't really talk about because I like to give people the impression yeah, that yeah, I, yeah. you know I live on the internet, which I don't. <laughs> um, but I'm a, I'm an electronics technician right. uh, in my day job. Right. Yeah. Um, but that carries across to a lot of things I'm doing on the channel because yeah. when it comes down to like soldering cables and uh, mm. pedal modifications, all the stuff I'm doing with my job is the same stuff I'm doing with, with that. So That's nice. It, it does it does mean that I've got, you know, a decent founding in what I'm talking about <clears throat> when I go and make a YouTube video. Yeah. That's kind of what I want to accomplish with this because I'm a I'm a prof professional graphic designer mm. who also does a lot of music stuff. I record bands, I mix live and stuff like that. And this is kind of the extension of that. But I want to do more music and less graphics in the future. So yeah. I kind of hope that this whole YouTube thing is like a gateway to that. Mm. So yeah, it's interesting to hear that you kind of both see it probably the same way. Because few of the guys that we have here, they definitely are more like uh, they do that full. Like it's their day job. But I think all three of us don't see it that way and probably don't even want to do it like, well, I don't know. I, 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 would, I would like to get to that stage where I can just go, you know, I'm not yeah. going to work today. I don't have to. Yeah. I can just, you know, sit in my studio, play guitar mm -hmm. and make a living off of that. Well, funnily enough, that is the situation I'm in, but yeah. for very different reasons. It's not, <laughs> yeah. you know, the YouTube has allowed me to to basically have a, a, a guitar playing career mm. and reach way more people than I would have. Social media yeah. in general, but YouTube is obviously the biggest yeah. kind of form of that, if you like, because it's so, the video side of it is so, so well done. But you're not making your living out of YouTube videos alone. No. You do other, you I don't make, I basically make no money out of YouTube videos. Yeah. I think I make, I won't put a figure on it, it's a bit <laughs> vulgar, but uh, it really isn't very much money yeah. for YouTube advertising at all. Yeah. I'm lucky if I get a hundred dollars every month. Yeah. That. yeah. It's just, you know, it's not something I've put a lot of time into. YouTube for me is a is a vehicle for promoting my playing. Yeah. And it always has been. So I do some product demos, but <coughs> the vast majority of my videos are basically me sat in front of the camera playing guitar and mm. very little talking to be honest. But even even when it is um, doing YouTube full time, everyone will tell you that they're not making all their money from yeah. YouTube. Yeah. They've, they've, they, you can't do that because YouTube is pretty volatile. It could collapse yeah. at any moment. Mm -hmm. So you've got mm -hmm. to diverge it out into all sorts of you know, doing the Patreon, the crowdfunding stuff, or you know selling merchandise, selling product, doing lessons, all mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Just other other avenues yeah. of, of, of of revenue and income yeah. uh, are vitally important on top of getting your your AdSense and yeah. you know all, all that sort of thing on YouTube. Yeah, that's what I've learned in my really short YouTube career. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it doesn't make you money, but I'm already seeing some of the effect where, like, even, like, my friends and people who know me see my content and they started to think of me as a video producer mm. and asking whether I can do this and that, mm. so on, so, It gives yeah. people a good impression yeah. of, of you. Yeah, I think YouTube, well, for most of us, I think YouTube is probably shifting into more like it's kind of your portfolio in a sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, a, it's it's your CV that yeah. gets you the other things. Yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, I've played with people and met people and done things that I would never have dreamed of, probably <laughs> because of YouTube. Yeah, yeah. 
So it's a pretty powerful medium for that, but there's so many different ways that you can use it. I mean, things have changed a huge amount since I started. Mm. And channels like yours didn't exist when, when I started mm. doing... Mine did, but it hadn't one video. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So the content yeah. was very, very different. Now the production standards have gone yeah, through that's the true. so on and so forth. Everyone's yeah. in 4K with really good lighting setups and stuff. That's a great thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and there's huge companies nowadays who have like several different channels, like one for movie reviews and the second for game reviews and stuff and they all control it's like it's become a like huge media field mm. youtube themselves look at themselves as a competition to television yeah they they view it as we don't want to compete with the internet we want to compete with you know, netflix we want people just staying there and watching so yeah. they, want, they want to see chained up content they want to see people doing you know regular scheduled yeah. things so it's like you know going oh yeah my monday viewing is my tuesday viewing is yeah and the, you know the same way you've done with a television in the past mm. Mm. and um yeah so the production quality and all that sort of thing has had to ramp up with that. People are people, you know, people who would never have been doing sort of that level of production ever in their life before are suddenly learning to run a television channel from exactly. the house. Yeah, exactly, and that's really really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And kind of like anyone can do it. Just how the technology has evolved in the last few years, you only need like a kind of proper phone. And you yeah. need to go. Oh yeah, you could you could just have an iPhone and you could have a successful yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah, I think we talked about this during the week at some point. Like, if the audio is good and your content is good, like the quality of the video doesn't matter that yeah, much. Yeah, that should wrap yeah. up afterwards. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The, one, the one thing that turns me off videos is bad audio. Yeah. yeah. If it, if Especially when when we're doing music stuff. Yeah. So. Um, this is kind of a personal question, but do you see, like, if talking about the guitars and YouTube, is there something that you think people are not doing properly yet, like guitar-wise? Is there like a market available somewhere that people don't do? I know a lot of people do gear reviews, a lot of people do lessons. Is there something that's missing? If I knew what it was, I'd be doing it. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's the answer. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, as long as people don't do what I'm doing, I'm really happy. Because I, I, I managed to find myself a small niche, and I'm yeah, just like, I want to keep that. <laughs> Nobody else can do that, yeah. please. And if so someone doesn't know, Colin actually has a master's degree in physics as well, and I oh. think you kind of utilize some of Yeah, I try to utilize videos. that. So I, I've, really I've, made, I've made myself this little person who cannot be copied, which yeah. um, I, th I think is important for anyone. You've got well, to it's very difficult to copy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 It's a lot of first. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for us, it would be like I was on Wikipedia and st still no idea what we're yeah. talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it means like you know we've all got those that, those things that are we're really good mm. at. Like I cannot compete with you at all when it comes to guitar playing, but um, if we were to have a physics off, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. I think I'd win. Physics yeah. off. Yeah, I'll try to make pre pretty graphics and thumbnails. That's yeah, the only thing I can I, go, I, I would have no chance there either. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll find something in like that region that could kind of help the other stuff as well. Um, oh yeah, there was one thing I wanted to ask. Uh, when you started, you probably had like an initial idea to do something. Uh, did you have any point where you like drastically changed your content because of the stuff you learned from the first year or two you you had been doing YouTube? For me, not really, because it was always playing videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just literally whatever I was working on at the time, or mm -hmm. you know, very very much focused on my guitar playing. Although I did do a few experiments where I tried some covers to see if I could get some views. So I did <laughs> Under a Glass Moon by Dream Theatre and that, you know, those things work. There's a yeah. reason why people do covers and they work really well. But generally not. My content has been very consistently guitar playing. And yeah. then I got into the demo scene as well. Mm. People, you know, are asking me to do demos. You do great demos. demos, by the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I enjoy them. I've got about six to do when I get back. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Um, um, well, if we consider just when I started doing guitar-based videos, mm. I mean, obviously my channel was up with some really bad. Hey, the stop motion stuff. The stop, really yeah, the stop awesome. motion. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if we just can, if we consider just when I started doing the guitar stuff and what I changed from that point, yeah. um, I did realise that doing twenty-minute-long videos, unscripted, um, and just messing about was not. Uh, was, yeah. was, and people were watching, but I was like, no, this could be better. So yeah. I changed a lot of how I operated. I started scripting videos. I started really mm. planning it out, putting in graphics and being, just being that little bit more clever, just going, this needs to be produced, this can't yep. just be, hey, here's Colin with a guitar and he's going to fix it now, <laughs> like, off the cuff. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really, doesn't really work. And I think you've also created kind of 
well, the stuff you did with Glenn yesterday, you are kind of known as a guy who knows the technical stuff. You, yeah. you are a luthier as well, and like that's great because a lot of people don't know how to do that yeah. stuff, and yeah. it's really important. And it affects everything they do with the guitar. If it's not properly set up, you can't play it properly. Well, the amount of people I've, I've met this week already have just said, "Oh yeah, everything I learned about fixing guitars I learned from you." Oh, that's really and that's nice. just that's kind of crazy. That's, yeah, that's people nice. people are you know watching the video and pausing it so they can go and fix the bit, and then they'll go back. See the I think I'll, pause I, and go I'll have to watch one of your videos. So there's few things in my guitar that needs fixing. <laughs> I, I don't know how to do it. Well, if I haven't covered it yet, let me know and I'll, I'll do okay, a video special good. for you. I, I'll do a request. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can be one of the many people requesting. My, my playing sucks. Can you fix my guitar? <laughs> <laughs> um, what kind of advice would you give to uh, someone who wants to start doing, let's, let's say, just like music-related YouTube? Run away. <laughs> <laughs> Run away? Just really? No, no, no. It's no, no. Uh, advice I know it's a cliche question but actually the answer is probably fairly cliche for me as well which is really to be yourself and not look at other YouTube channels and go well he's successful so I'll try and do what he's doing or what she's mm. doing and then morph yourself into something you're not because it won't come across as, as genuine mm. it'll be disingenuous and people will see through it immediately that's a really good point you have to be yourself and produce content like <clears throat> Colin is producing content that's very specific to his skill set yeah it's a very wide skill set. Uh, and it's he's very specific yeah, to and that wide skill set. He, he seems like really passionate about it, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah, like that's another big that. factor. It's got to, you've just got to be excited about what it is you're yeah. doing. There's no, no point trying to do something. Yeah. Because people will be enthused by your content. Like, I watch loads and loads of tech channels. Mm. And I'm a pro, you, well, you guys find out I'm a super nerd. <laughs> and yes. The ones I subscribe <laughs> to are the ones where the guys even if the content is not always 100% engaging, mm. if the personality is engaging, yeah. especially these days, yeah, if you're exactly. going to produce constant content for YouTube, you have to find an engaging angle. But that has to be something that's genuinely mm. new, not the, the, the amount of comments that I see on videos where people are saying, I don't even do the thing that, that you're doing here in, in crazy depth. I'm just here because you're fascinated. Yeah, you yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, you know, that seems to, that seems to, to, yeah. to transcend any sort of genre. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's great. Yeah. Some other advice I'd give to people yeah. starting is um, just start. Like I think a lot of people are just like, oh, I've got to have, mm. I've got to have a plan in place. I've got to have this. I've got to, have, mm. you know. And yeah, you need all that eventually. But the the biggest step you can do is just just do it. Yeah. Just start, and you will learn along the way. You will learn very quickly mm. um, what you can do, what you can, what you need to improve, what's okay. Yeah. And you just build from there. Yeah. And, and don't have, you know have that confidence, and don't ever. You know, I think you were saying, look at people and then try to like, I want to be like that. Yeah. But you can mm. also look at people and go, oh man, they're so good. It's not even point trying. Like I don't, I can't compete yeah. with that. But you can't really look at someone who's on chapter ten when you're on chapter one. Yeah. You know, and it's exactly. that important thing of looking back at the earliest videos and going, well, you know, theirs were just as bad as mine. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like where they got to. So yeah, that's true. That's you know, true. you got to look at it from from step one. Everyone's step one, and everyone, mm. everyone started, and everyone had to learn. Yeah. So. Yeah, big confidence and just go and do it. All right. I might be out of questions. Of course, <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you, Thank you very much. Check out Colin. Thank you. Check out Tom and Colin on the channels. I'll put the links in the description. We are at KidsCon day two. Thanks for watching. Jam! <laughs> yeah, go for it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>